I got even more news regarding Neil Blomkamp. After my last video about Alien and Robocop, there's plenty more that people have asked him about in interviews for the Gran Turismo press tour. And this one is actually kind of this is concerning to me because I adore District 9. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, IGN, there's an article from them that says, Neil Blomkamp doesn't know if his District 9 sequel is actually getting made. Yikes, because I remember not too long ago he said that's his next project, which was not true. And I'm hoping it was contingent on if his other movies did well, they would greenlight it. But my fear, though, is I think he worked with Fox. If I'm not mistaken, I think he worked with Fox a lot, which is now Disney. And I don't see Disney giving Neil the creative freedom he deserves. So, man, uh, I'd have to check to see if Fox is who he works with a lot. But, like, his last few movies, I'm not sure. But, uh... Uh, the long-awaited sequel to Neil Blomkamp... Yeah, man, I remember seeing that movie and just... I'm going to end up waiting longer for this sequel than my sister waited for the Avatar 2. She loves Avatar. Came out the same year as District 9. And we both waited over a decade for a sequel, and she got hers before I did. So, uh... Sequel... Uh, just got a pretty discouraging update. Mm -hmm. Blomkamp recently spoke to THR while promoting his new video game adaptation, Gran Turismo, and was asked a District 9 sequel, District 10, is still... Oh, it's Sony, okay. And well, then maybe it could happen. Was distributed District 9 and Gran Turismo. Okay, so then I think it is possible if, if um, it's Sony and if Gran Turismo does well. Blomkamp confirmed that District 9 would be tied to Sony if it ever actually happens. Why not? Uh, I don't know if it's getting made or not, he admitted. I don't know if I even want to make that right now. But at some point down the line, it'll probably get made. This might just be him trying to deflect. Like, I think he knows more than he lets on. And I th I think he's also not trying to get his hopes up. I do think that he's actually trying to play coy a bit. I, I have the feeling that it's contingent on Gran Turismo's success. So, which is why I will go watch Gran Turismo. Um, when the interviewer suggested that the reception to Gran Turismo might help the... District 10's chances, he responded, yeah, that makes sense. Fingers crossed, because, I mean, we might get it, and then it might be supremely disappointing, but I hope not. Even though Blomkamp caveated that District 10 will probably get made eventually, the update is still a fairly disappointing one. The filmmaker previously confirmed that the sequel was in development in 2021, announcing that he reteamed with partners Charlton Copley and Terry Tatchel to write the screenplay. Oh, I want to see it. Later that year, Blomkamp, IGN... Gave IGN a small tease telling us... I don't know what this is supposed to mean. Telling us the script continues to be written and that the sequel will be based on a topic in American history? What? I, what does he mean? Like, is it... Oh, you know what? It's probably like an American Revolution type story where he comes back and... Or they come back to get him out of, off of Earth. I don't know. Who knows? But the good thing is... It's not like they have to do it soon before Shalto gets too old because... He's, uh, Vickis is now an alien, and I don't think he's going back to a human. So, I mean, maybe he will, but I don't know if he can be turned back. So, like, it just is really just relying on CG then for Shalto to play him again, even if it's been over a decade. Uh, later that year, Blomkamp, I already read that. But we've gotten a few updates since then, and Hollywood development is often fickle. Yeah, especially now with the strikes. Oh, that, that's literally what they say next. Uh... The original District 9 was a massive success. I love it. I, I'm so sad I never got to see it in theaters. I'm, I'm hoping for a re-release at some point. Maybe uh, for like the 15th anniversary? I don't know. What is that? Wasn't that next year or is that this year? No, that's next year. Yeah. Was a uh, grossing $210 million. I I watched it at home on DVD. It was the first rated R movie I think I rented. Um... On a reported budget of $30 million and a viral marketing campaign. But also, critically, it managed to break past the Oscars' frequent hesitation to recognizing genre fare by scoring nominations for Best Picture, Best Adaptive Screenplay, Best Visual Effects, and Best Editing. As IGN said in our review at the time, it was a science fiction masterpiece you didn't see coming. Yeah, I think it's... Honestly, I think it's up there with, like, Robocop and, and like, Terminator with, like, all-time great sci-fi movies. It's so good. Um, <laughs> I'm reading the comments. Some people say, I hope the sequel never gets made. One of my favorite films. It doesn't need a sequel. 
Yeah, I don't know, man. It might ruin the end. The ending is great, so... If they do make a sequel, I hope it's good. I don't screw it up. Um, yeah, so that's all I got. That's all I have for District 9. However, there's even more Blomkamp news. I, I'm just going to become the Blomkamp news channel. No. Um, I definitely like to talk about anything when he, when he comes up in conversation. And he's got a new game coming out, too. So here's another one. There, somebody asked him about Elysium. And I didn't even know he was planning a sequel, but Elysium 2 Chances, addressed by director 10 years after the OG Matt Damon sci-fi released. Neil Blomkamp shares his ideas about an overall story for a potential sequel to Elysium, highlighting the Matt Damon movie's original themes. Yeah, isn't it crazy to think that movie's 10 years old? I'm like, dang, I, re I remember going to see that. I was so hyped for it. It's been a decade. It's crazy how time flies. Um, and I honestly can't remember how it ended. Did, did Matt Damon die? I, I do not remember. Uh, I think this movie's underrated. I really do like it. And he got it not too long after District 9 because of the success. So he had a stint there in Hollywood with three films, and then Chappie didn't do well enough for them to let him continue. So, uh, Neil Blomkamp wants to make a scene because, like, District 9 and this did well, and then they made Chappie, and then nothing, really till now um i mean he went and did some of his own stuff or well, he did demonic too which i heard the bad the potential sequel will take place on both earth and the space station elysium the elysium movie would be less of a sequel and more of a new story set in the same world okay that's i think that's fine because his story i think ended and i really loved charlotte as kruger in this movie he was great like as long as you keep using charlotte and like everything you make i'm gonna love it because i love that guy and he they worked Charlto and Neil are like Tarantino and uh, why am I blanking on his name? Christoph Waltz. He gets the best performances out of them. They 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 work like peanut butter and jelly. Elysium director Neil Blomkamp shares his thoughts on a potential sequel. The original movie, which premiered in twenty thirteen, and starred Matt Damon, was the director's follow up to uh, his debut. I mean, that doesn't happen often. Where a, de a director's debut movie is his best. District 9, and then, like, each subsequent movie is not as good. Although some could argue Tarantino is like that, that some people still say Reservoir Dogs is his best work, but I still haven't seen all of his work. Uh, Elysium was set on a decaying Earth where the wealthy live on an orbiting space station called Elysium and followed Damon's ex-con Max DaCosta as he fights for equality. Blomkamp recently spoke with the rap about his newest feature, the Gran Turismo movie. During the conversation, he revealed that he wants to do a sequel to Elysium because it is, quote, becoming more and more relevant as time goes on. He describes the sequel as, quote, another movie in that world that will take place both on Earth and Elysium. Read his full quote below. Quote, I love both Elysium and Chappie. I want to do a sequel to Elysium, actually, because I think Elysium is becoming more and more relevant as time goes on. I wouldn't mind doing a sequel to that movie at some point, but it's not really a sequel. It's more like another movie in that world. Could Elysium 2 happen? While Blomkamp might want to make another movie in the world of Elysium, it may not prove to be a possibility. The director has experienced challenges in the past bringing some of his projects to life, especially as it relates to sequels or franchises. Yeah, that's what I talked about in my last video about him, and it sucks. This most notably occurred with his cancelled Alien 5, a project that was long teased but never came to fruition. Yep. None of Blomkamp's other movies have ever received a sequel either. This includes District 9, even though the director has stated his intention to make a sequel to that movie since before it was released. While District 10 could still be in the cards, it seems less likely that an Elysium follow-up would be greenlit. Man, all these articles are like presenting a cool idea and then just stomping on all of our hopes and dreams. It sucks. While Elysium made more at the box office in District 9, which is surprising, $280 million versus $210, it also came with a much bigger price tag. It's $115, that's, that's still pretty low. $115 million now, especially with how much Disney's spending, that's pretty low. Uh, as compared to District 9's $30 million, which is mind-boggling. That movie looks incredible for $30 million. That CG, they did so well for that cheap. Only led to a net profit of an estimated $18 million. While this is still a profit... A District 9 sequel would likely strike studios as much of a safer bet, and as long as that continues to struggle to come to fruition, it seems unlikely that a new Elysium would pique studios' interest more. Uh, which is a damn shame, because 
I don't know what does Hollywood have against original sci-fi. That's something that I high budget original sci-fi is something I am I think the like audiences want and personally I'm desperate for, which is why I'm going to go see the creator when that comes out. Just just to show studios that hey, we still want original sci-fi with a big budget. Dune, I love Dune. I'm so mad that Dune 2 is delayed. And then like the the other franchises like Star Trek, Star Wars, a lot of those are just just screwing up a lot lately. So I just personally want to see some kind and Terminator and I mean you name it. There's so many that they run into the ground. Um Alien is kind of running to the ground too. So I would love to see new sci-fi franchises made. I'd like to make one myself at some point. Uh but we just we just need Hollywood and studios to like fund them. So I can see why he kind of bowed out of the Hollywood system after Alien 5 and RoboCop Returns fell through and why he just went to do Oat Studios stuff. It makes sense to me. So personally, i much rather see a District uh, 10 before I see Elysium 2. Uh, Chappie 2. Uh, Chappie I liked, but I don't need a sequel to that. So yeah, that's uh, a lot of Neil news lately. Uh it's like a segment I should do, like Neil News, and then Neil News Nightly, and then and oh, that's actually no, and then is another acronym that uh, I'm sure you know what that is. Kids, if you're watching, I don't recommend googling that. Anyway, yeah, if you, I mean, if you want to see any of these projects happen, I think we can help them happen just a little bit if we all go see Gran Turismo. So I'm definitely gonna throw some cash to that movie. Probably see it, maybe even tomorrow. I don't know. Um, because man, do I want to see Neil get more bigger projects and hopefully do a uh, Robocop or Alien still. It's not likely, but I would love it considering MGM is owned by Amazon and all this consolidation is kind of ruining it. And then Fox is owned by Disney now. So that's going to be an issue. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about, uh, either Elysium 2 or District 10. Um... And then even and then if you haven't seen it, you can go watch my other Neil Blomkamp video I just made. So, yeah. In the meantime, though, uh, I hope you go and look at some of my older videos. I'm trying to be more consistent lately with maybe more news content and maybe less hour long let's plays because I'm have not been in the algorithm for a long time. Stuck at my subscriber count. Whatever. It's okay. I just got a hundred view video recently though, so that was kind of cool. So. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Peace out.